We'll guide you through how to fix an iPad with a black screen that's unresponsive or isn't turning on. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This problem can be really concerning as you're then unable to go and use your iPad and you may think it's broken. But don't worry, we've got some different fixes you can try to hopefully go and get it working again and you won't need to worry about going and buying a new iPad. So likely this can just be a software problem. So what we can do is we can go and do a forced restart to go and solve it. So what you want to do is come to the top of the iPad. You know, it's the top as you'll see the power button. Now you want to come to the side and you want to go and find the volume buttons and you need to go and press the volume increase button, then decrease and hold down at the side power button. Now keep this held down. You need to hold this down for around 15 to 20 seconds. When you go and see the Apple icon, you can then go and release it as the iPad is now starting. Now, if you don't see it, don't worry, recover at the moment, but now just go and wait and shortly the iPad should be back on and the problem should go and be resolved. So it's just a software problem. Now, if you're finding the screen stays black and it still isn't working, the next thing you want to do is you want to go and grab its cable. So you want to go and grab it. This is got the USB-C port. So what we can then do is go and plug it in. So just make sure you use the right cable. Now, what we now need to do is you need to go and plug the other end in to a power source. Do make sure this cable is definitely working. Let it go and charge for around five to 10 minutes. Then what we want to try doing is the same thing. You want to go and press the volume increase, decrease, and then hold down the power button like so. Of course, mine's coming on as the problem is solved, but you want to go and keep this held down. Once again, for around 15 to 20 seconds. Only go and release when you go into the Apple icon, as that means the iPad is now starting. When it comes back on, hopefully now the problem's solved and you're able to go and use it again. As you can see, I can, and that's it. So if you found this useful and it solved your problem, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you've got any other problems, put them down below and we'll try our best to go and help you. I look forward to catch you in the next one when we can go and solve your next problem, whether it's an iPad, social media, or something else. Have a great day, goodbye.